But so we're in the room here where you're going to be announcing England captain again at late this afternoon. What does that feel like to get that endorsement again from Stuart and, and the rest of the England squad? Yeah, extremely honoured. I mean, it's a, a similar kind of reaction to, to the, one, the ones in the past. Um, and it is a huge privilege. I mean, I, I'm very aware of the guys around me as well, that leadership group who, who help me out there on the pitch and, and take a key part in, in driving this England team forward. And at the end of the day, that, that's exactly what it's about. It's, we all want to go out there and get the same kind of end goal. We need to have a group of kind of core leaders to, to help drive the standards. So. When did you find out from Stuart? When did he sit you down and tell you that you're going to be leading the team again? Um, when we came in, we had a, a meeting. Everyone has their one-on-ones on the Monday, so we had a chat then. Um, so yeah, I only found out this week compared to what a lot of people thought, uh, thought that I knew. Um, but no, yeah, I found out on Monday, so then it's just kind of into the training week and cracking on and, and that's been put to bed and it's now just prepare for Australia. What was that conversation like? E- e- easy answer to his question, I suppose? Yeah, exactly. It's one of those ones where you, you get asked a question, you grab it with both hands and you look forward to the challenge. You know there's going to be some exciting times ahead, some tough times ahead. and. Um, it's making sure you're ready for, for everything that kind of comes your way. Stuart talks about the captain being a guaranteed starter and how important that is around the camp. Does that give you a chance to express yourself as a leader and as a player when you know that you're going to be starting the game at the following weekend? No, I don't think so. I think as a person, first and foremost, you want to go out there and, and earn your spot. I don't think you want to be guaranteed to play because you are, are the captain or are one of the senior guys in the team. And I think as a, as a captain, you need to be seen as earning your spot as soon as you just perceived as that, it's hard for your other teammates to respect you and, and so forward. So no, we need to make sure that first and foremost, you are good enough for the team. You, you put the hard work in, you, you show your teammates what you're about and, um, and hopefully it will reflect on them as well. There's been lots of speculation about who's going to be the captain. You've been asked about it a lot, Stuart's been asked, Connor's been asked. Has that been a, a distraction at the start of the season? It's been difficult to focus on, on the job on the pitch? No, I don't think so. It's it's part of the sideshow which is out there at the moment. Um, there was, like you said, there's a lot of speculation and a lot of. Um, it could have been a number of guys who, who kind of got, got the position. But again, it's a lot's made of of who the captain is. I mean, it's. I think the the core thing is, and the really important thing is, is who's in that leadership group. I mean, we've expanded that slightly. Um, Stuart's expanded that, and there's about uh, ten guys or so in now, and and that's helping to drive the drive the standards of the squad and and where this squad really wants to go to and of course it's about 2015 and moving beyond that. Is he trying to get more ownership from the players then? More, more players is tending to be taking charge of not just the game plan but the culture and everything that goes around the squad? Yeah I think so and I think that that comes with a little bit of trust. Um, of course when, when everyone's new to the camp, there's new players, new coaches, all that stuff, it's, it's very much kind of coach, coach driven um, and I think the more you understand each other you know how moods are, how things are working, this and that. Um, and I think the coaches trust the players a lot more at the moment. Of course, we've been working together for about two years, a lot of guys before that, some just come in. Um, so you, you get that experience, you get that, that trust in it, and hopefully it will help to help drive all the guys forward. What was it like for you watching someone else in the summer, Captain England? How, how did that feel when you were sitting at home watching the games? Um, I mean, it was one of them. It was, um, of course, it's always tough to miss miss any game, let alone kind of an international. But no, you have to respect the, the coach's call and, and they see the bigger picture, don't they? That's their responsibility to, to look at that. But that's, that's something we need, isn't it? We need a number of guys who can, who can do it. Um, and Tom did a fantastic job, I think. And he is one of the key leaders in the group and one of the key guys around the squad that helped drive, drive things. And he's very influential. Um, but not only him, we've got like Dylan Hartley, Toby Flood, to name a couple who are core guys who captain their club sides as well. So it's about bringing all that experience. It's not necessarily has to be what I say goes. It's um, seeing kind of the best thing and, and getting the best reaction out of the squad. So you've spoken as a group then, presumably as your group, about how to reintegrate the players that were arrested in the summer, the Lions players and, and those that toured in Argentina. It's more just cracking on. I don't think we can waste too much time with dropping and starting again. Everyone, everyone just needs to get back on page pretty quickly and that's primarily what this week's about. I mean, we had a, a couple of days camp in August, but obviously the Lions guys were, were still away. Um, and this week very much is kind of, let's get back into thinking about England and terminology, moves, all this type of stuff, lineouts, how we want to be perceived, how we want to play, all that. And getting us back on page, so hopefully next, next week on Monday we focus on Australia and we kind of really go for it.